right, so say I'm doing part one of probably three of my £500 plus equestrian tax haul, which thinking about it is a lot of money and um, it was necessary. You know, I've bought lots of essentials as you can see, but yeah, let's get on with the haul. I want to start with the biggest item to get out of the way. There is some more of these coming in part two, but I ordered a new flexi tab. This is just a plain black one because it's just a flexi tub inside and this is a 60 litre. This is this is going to the field to have water in because I'm currently sorting out the field shelter into making it a more usable shelter for ponies. So that's what this big black flexi tub. The next big item is this over the door manger. I think this is the Stubbs one and this is for B. B doesn't really have her own manger, River has one, but I have ordered River a new one to complete our matchy matchy look. This is the pink and I think it was very much this, it was about £13 and it's just going to make life so much easier because if I'm going to sit over the gate, it means like if I'm not here and someone like my mum or other is in a rush, then they can just chuck this straight over the gate and that's B said and River's much more good on the other side of the gate or when they're in their shelters, um, I'm having a beam put in so that I can chuck someone in there which is going to make life so much easier, especially in the winter when the mud's bad because it just makes it so much easier getting there for the school. The final big item in this section of the haul is my new saddle pad. This is just a sponsored by Aftershock Equine. I already have one of these orange pads, but I realised it was a river saddle, so I picked up the second one, and obviously I really just want it to be personalised, so I sponsored these other ones. So it's just a Wrangle pad, as you can see on the spine in full and i just love this orange color up next is a couple of things i got for my hat so this is my hat i've had my hat for a while now it's one of the champion ones so this is a hat band from rider eye i bought some new high vis gear for this one we got hacking i thought the orange looked super bright and it's going to be super safe and then inside you can see i've got these new ear warmers this is because i get really bad headaches riding with this hat and people get i get, well, I get really bad headaches in the wind anyway but i get them really really bad when i ride my hat, my hat. so i have been wearing an ear warmer and my problem is when I get my new hat for my birthday and it fits, I'm not going to have extra wiggle room to put an ear band in. I've had this hat for about four years now, five years. So it's um, well worn and basically, yeah, it's just given in a bit. So I picked up these. I'm going to see if I can find the other set because I got my sister a set as well to kind of show you what's going on and like how they attach. So my sister's a slightly different shade of pink, but as you can see, it's literally just held on by two pieces of velcro and these just hook on to the straps around the side of your hat here so it's just those two and yeah i just thought they were really nifty i think these were about three pound fifty and i got them from a lady on facebook up next is the rest of the high vis stuff from rider eye so i picked up these which are the cuffs i picked these up in the yellow i mean you can kind of see them reflecting slightly from the light on my camera which i really like so these are yeah these were i think they're seven pound fifty and i love them i wear them for whichever age they are you'll probably have seen them in all of my other videos uh, this is the cross body sash. I've tied mine up with a hair bubble because it wasn't it was just a bit too long and it kept falling off my shoulder because I've got although I've got quite broad shoulders, I've got quite narrow shoulders and because of my scoliosis it's they're both quite sloping. So yeah, basically I just wear this across here and yeah, I love it. It was again I think this was about seven pound fifty, but it was really easy to adjust and I can take the bubble off, which means if I'm lending it to my mum or my siblings, it's really adjustable for all of us. Next we have some fabulous little accessories, these are super basic, but I got two of these rings. These are just the silver tie-up rings basically so that I can have some hairnets in my new shelter. Uh, there's actually no tie-up points in them at the moment, so I'm currently using a rafter from like that the roof's attached to. But I just thought these would make my life a little bit easier. And then because obviously I need hairnets to tie up on these rings, I ordered a new hairnet. I think this now means I've got six at um, like where I am at the moment, and then I know at my dad's, um, I think I've got about six or seven there. So when Covid's less of an issue i can go home and pick up the rest of my hair so this is just a blue one and it says hey net normal so who knows what size it actually is to go along with that there's a bit of pink theme you'll notice because my ponies color theme is pink is the licket holder and then obviously to go in the licket holder i picked up um lickets i do have this in red for my horse and um, his color theme is orange but they don't do they didn't do an orange one when i got him so he has a red one so and i have these again just to try and tie them into the shelter currently have a silver moth swinger in there and they love that. I think I've got three more of those on order so you should see them in the rest of the vlog. The last couple of feed related things for this part of the haul is I got a stirring stick because I have one of these in orange for my horse and I want one for my pony so that I'm not cross contaminate contaminating oh big words cross contaminating their feeds because the pony has a karma and my horse doesn't so pick this up for B and then I picked up a new scoop. This is the large pet scoop because basically I make up all my five of these I don't use 
in one big tub and then I scoop it out and basically I'm ruining the scoop that I used to measure out the dry stuff and it just means I have to keep washing it constantly so I just bought a new scoop so I have one for wet and one for dry this is just called the be best pets pet food scoop large it was cheap at JF4 basic drink it was about £1.20 and it does the job what I needed it to do next I picked up some of the NAF fire tint this is to try and improve the feet uh, this is one of the refill packs because I want to put it in a storage tub basically I don't like the tubs that supplements come in I'd much rather have one of these cut this bit off here and stick it to the front so that I know exactly what's in it how much they need to be fed etc etc and yeah it's just some biotin fluff with MSM methionian zinc and calcium basically like she just needs something to help with her hooves and because she's on such a basic feed she just gets tired of eating I thought this would be really useful it says a two kilo refill bag fed at 50 grams per day will last approximately 40 days and i don't think she'll need a full 50 gram scoop because she's only tiny yeah so that was the supplement and then the and then the final food related thing is a bag of these these is the naf minty treats river really likes these so i picked up the river because i kind of felt bad because i bought bee loads because bees just come into my care officially so I bought her loads of stuff so I was like well I should probably get the big man some little stuff then I kind of just picked up some like fitty bits so this is the Shire's Easy Broom Hoof Brush this is in green because that's the colour of my first aid kit I then picked them up a hoof oil brush each this is Rivers and this is Bees because River has orange and Bee has pink and obviously to go with that I picked up a bottle of hoof oil this is just the gold label one the natural hoof oil vitamin pine tar in a natural oil I do have another hoof oil somewhere in the tap room but this was the gold label one and I've always used gold label and the one that's in front of me isn't because my mum bought it so I just picked this up Um, I really like this stuff so we're going to see if it helps with these hoofs or not what have I got to lose really it's hoof oil and then I went and picked up some wormers they are both being wormed when the vet comes on Monday so I said I better pick up the wormers now because it was easier for me and then as you may know Bee has had a bit of an abscess and it has burst and it seems to be doing okay but whilst she's under sedation I'm going to take the chance to stick my foot in a bucket and pulse it up see if we can get something else out of it I don't think we will but kind of just one of those that's not on my mind so I picked up some Epsom salts these are just from the doctors because I don't think my other order which is like part two of this video will be here in time so I went in these were three pounds which I think is absolutely disgusting for however many 300 grams whereas my two and a half kilo box of them which are coming for the horse that's in the like the next part of the horse haul is about £5.50 but because these are humans they're you know extortionally pharmacy expensive but it's just magnesium sulfate temper hydrate it's in there I will include a picture next so that you can read it because pronunciation of big words is not my strong point so yeah this is just B I'm gonna try soaking it in lukewarm water the problem we've got at the moment is she doesn't like the sensation of running water like on her feet she doesn't like the sound of it so it's a little bit flighty with it and then the one thing that you won't see in this part of the video is I also bought a bucket, a green bucket, to soak her foot in because all my first aid kit is green, as you saw from the brush. Uh, I've got a green hoof pick, a green brush, um, the green bucket. There's just, yeah, I like to keep them different so that I've got rivers things, bees things and then the first aid kit because it means that I can sterilise everything in the first aid kit, put it away, bring it out, use it, sterilise it and it just makes it easier for me because I'm very much a visual person so hence why everything is one of three colours. I ordered myself a couple of like clothing bits most of it you won't actually get to see until my birthday haul however these tights are from obviously riding equestrian they've got the logo on the back they're just a grey colour with this floral pocket and i thought i'd just show you these ones quickly because these are fleece lined because you will have seen these in one of my vlogs because i've been wearing them i've been living in them because i love leggings i currently well before i bought these ones like i kept one as a pair of like proper riding leggings so i was kind of just living in jogging bottoms which wasn't ideal particularly the amount I ride so these have got the grippy knee don't know how well you can see that I will include the clips that I put onto my Instagram story for you they have got this beautiful thick waistband because I am a sucker for a good waistband and they're also really stretchy don't know how well you can see that which means basically when I regain the muscle on my legs that I've lost due to well, being at uni that hopefully they'll stretch and they'll fit nicely on my legs still but yeah these are super comfy and I will do a clip of me wearing them
list of things I want to show you guys. So they're not really equestrian based, but they're things that I will be using as an equestrian and a, I guess you could kind of call me a vlogger at this point, but I don't see myself as a vlogger. I still see myself as a student and a business owner. So first up, I bought this microphone. It's got lovely long feet on it. It can, can be shortened and it's got a couple of adapters, just a little mic. But it doesn't work with my phone, which is very annoying, but it should work with my new camera. Not the new camera I'm about to show you, but the other, other new camera, because that's confusing. Cameras are confusing, and I'll get into that. Up next is the Canon 40D. It doesn't, didn't come with the lens. The lens is one I already had from my 350D, but basically I bought a new camera. I bought it second hand because I was not throwing a, well, over a grand at a new camera, basically, because my, 350, my 350D works. However, I just need to see. This is a slightly heavier camera, but it's got a lot more features. So I'm going to show you the top. It's got this nice control panel for adjusting things. And then I'm going to show you the back again. It's got dials and a big screen. And it's just so much easier to use than my other one. And my brother's been showing an interest in photography. So I wanted to get a better camera between us to play with. So yep, this is my new edition. It's beautiful. It has flash it has a flash adjustment point it does have a audio not an audio a video out however it doesn't do audio even with the microphone i can't seem to get it to work so yeah so that's kind of an issue with this model where it's not quite the high enough model i want so i am now saving up for another new camera for just filming purposes uh, until then i've got my oh, what's it called it's not a gopro but it's like one of the cheaper versions um i've had it for years it's not the best thing ever but i mean it's never let me down so got that to play with so fingers crossed you're going to get some more content from us soon until then this is a nice new 40d that i'm going to enjoy taking pictures of the ponies with and then to show you the final thing i've had to take you off the tripod because i was filming on the tripod this is my new tripod it has adjustable leg lengths so it goes a little bit long, longer than i have it at the moment it's only adjusted slightly at the moment it has a couple of different adaptions at the top this is the phone one which is nice and stretchy as you can see here and it can go on at the back so that you can film in other ways uh, I chose this one because it was 19.99, and if I just it can film either ways that is without me having to adjust it it's got a gauge here to kind of show you where it's level it has all the focus and adjustment points that I need for a camera and my 50 not my 50 my 350d and my 400d can both be attached here as well as my uh, action camera so although it's not a gopro and it, it has a very similar attachment to a gopro and i think it's quite standard now so there's one of those which goes on here and i also picked up a new memory card which i obviously can't show you because it's in my camera i've just compacted it down to show you how small it goes for traveling it's absolutely great for taking it to the yard because it's dead lightweight and yeah it does feel a little bit plasticky and just not the best quality however it was 19.99 including free amazon prime and I'm only taking it to the yard, as you can see already it's a little bit muddy from being at the yard, but I was doing a video call on it the other day from the yard, so yeah, it's a great piece of kit and I will try and link it in the description down below if I can, if it's still available, and if not I will try and link one similar. So the next part is, this is my apt cavalier haul, it came with this cute little card in it, and then there was a message from Sarah who owns the company and now let's get into the actual haul so first up I got their base layer these are the performance skins they've discontinued this colour so it was on offer in fact this, this is a, all of this was on offer hence why it's a little bit more than I would have normally ordered so this is the base layer this is the uh, show shirt and these are the breggings so I'm going to start with the performance skin because this was kind of why I did the haul because I've been wanting one of these for ages. So when they said that they were discontinuing it, I was like, well, I may as well. So this is what it looks like on the front. It's just a nice peacock green colour. And on the back, it's got this mesh panel and their logo. And then it says Apt Cavalier on the sleeve. I love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to be able to wear it. In fact, I will probably wear it to the yard because well, it's just... Oh, it's phenomenal all of it it's the size 8 so i got the yeah i got the size 8 i got the size 8 and everything because i'm hoping that it's all just gonna fit because i had, did get some other clothes recently that were slightly off on sizing but 
this is the competition shirt again it's just like a white show shirt and then on the back it's got Aptica layer and this mesh panel I'm hoping this is going to be really useful for when university shows come back because I'm desperate to be out competing again I've really missed it so fingers crossed I'm gonna get to wear those and then finally I picked up Breggins this Breggins they are a combination of breeches and jeggings so they're an odd material they don't quite feel like normal leggings they've got this gorgeous high waistband which I love because I get really bad bloating um because of all my health problems so a good waistband is really important for me because it's just more comfortable it says apt cavalier on the inside and it's got apt cavalier here and a zip up pocket and then it's got the silicon grippy bits on the knees and then it has the logo embroidered on the side here let me see if I can there you go so yeah I'm really excited to try these out as well uh, these were a bit of a treat yourself purchase because I don't actually own many pairs of riding like pants so leggings jods breeches at the moment I think I have two pairs of competitions two pairs of black and two pairs of riding leggings so because I want to do some more riding and I want to be able to you know mix it up so I'm not always wearing the exact same outfit in all my pictures I picked up these I think they are absolutely beautiful and I'm really glad that I picked them up in the sale when I did they've got this bit at the bottom which again I really like because I don't like them being too thick around my ankles because trying to get everything you know just sit nicely under my chaps and stuff is just a bit of a nightmare so this is all I got from Apt Cavalier but I'm absolutely over the moon with it all and I love it I love the colours I love the material so I'm gonna try it all on and hopefully I will to try include some try on clips slightly later on but if I don't please tell me in the comments if I forget to do that and I will make sure to <laughs> size pony so it's a little bit big but it was really pretty and I think it was about £10 in total and then I headed into the Harbro country store and picked up these things just because I bought a way in. So the next part of this haul is my red gorilla bucket so this is the feed bucket I ordered for River and then these are the water buckets that I've ordered there's one for River and one for B hence the different colours and I'm super excited that these are here because it means that they now have one each and River's feed bucket is broken so he needed a new one. And the first thing in the feed bucket is an orange feed pick. River doesn't have an orange one, he has a purple one and I wanted an orange one basically. I think it was a pound, one pound something, it wasn't very much so picked them up. And here are those and then in here is not one, not two, but three more swingers. They've been really enjoying these silver moss fingers, so I ordered three because it was cheaper to order them all at once than it is to you know, constantly picking them up in the feed shop. And then I also picked up some new things for our first aid kit. So the first thing I picked up was a new bucket. You will have seen in previous clips that I did actually get bored of waiting for this and pick up another one, but I got this blue bucket. And then I got a gold label, gold label iodine shampoo because you can never have too much iodine shampoo. Uh, the gold label Epsom salts because um, again you can never have too many Epsom salts if I've got a bad back I can put them in my bath if I need to soak up uh, abscess I can soak up abscess so all in all having a two and a half kilo box of these around is not really a problem then I picked up some NAF hoof pulse this is um, again we do have nappies but I just wanted to have a couple of actual ones sticking around in my first aid kit then picked up the barrier animal healthcare purple spray this smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. It's got chamomile, true tea, lavender and arnica in it and it's just the best thing ever. I said I've got to be careful because it is purple. And then the final things I picked up were a digital thermometer because it's an essential to have all these in every equine first aid kit. And some more vet wrap. I chose the black because it was the cheapest option. Like the different colours were all different prices and these were like £2 each instead of nearly £5. So bit of some black because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter to me what colours our vet wrap is I've got a selection of colours on sales I've got reds I've got blues I've got purples you know I, I'm not fussy when it comes to the colours so that's the second like big part of this big haul as you can imagine the all the vet supplies were pretty expensive and the new buckets weren't weren't ideal however as you will have probably seen if you follow me in my socials 
Austrac Equine now stock these Red Gorilla buckets because I absolutely love them. I've had them for absolutely years. Obviously they've rebranded from Trug Trugs to Red Gorilla and yeah, they are just phenomenal pieces of kit and I'd recommend them to everyone. That's the end of this part of the haul. I will include some clips of it in action, is that the right word, um, later on in the vlog because obviously I'm in the process of sorting out my shelter and some of these things are coming to the shelter with me like feed buckets and water buckets so once that's all sorted and all ready and all finished which fingers crossed will be Saturday I will be able to include some clips and yeah you get to see it all in action thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below